So, in this new section, I want to show you some new things, okay? Something that is going to expand your mind and make you a lot more knowledgeable about Node.js and Mongoose and MongoDB and all that stuff, okay? So, we're going to learn some cool, stu cool stuff in this new section because we're going to be adding new things to our CMS, okay? We're going to be refactoring some code. We're going to be just making sure that our application works as expected, okay? We are going to be making some tight ends, uh, you know, making some loose ends tight again, basically fixing or making stronger some of the code that we have, okay, some of the functionalities. So one of the things that I want to start with is, and then we might even modify this later on, but right now I want to show you how you can easily uh, put dynamic data in here uh, with compacting all the queries with uh, MongoDB, okay, We're using Mongoos. So, for example, we have this in admin index, we have this route right here, right? And this is, of course, getting us the count for our admin index, right? So, and then we, of course, are using that count in the partial, okay? Right here. So, let me just close all this real quick so that way we can do this a little better and it's clear it what I'm doing and there we go okay so we got this route right here this admin index route and if we wanted to get the category count which we need we would have to go on top and I already did this include this category which I did this behind the scenes you guys did not see me do this right this category there and then we will have to go here and embed another query right those that count and this is what we have been doing so far but there is a better way of doing this there is actual actually a way that we can you know put all these queries into an array and then pass in those values to one specific method that is going to execute everything and return to us all the results in one go okay let me repeat that again we can compact the let's say category counts common counts post counts into an array we can put all that into an array and then use that array name into a method that is going to execute everything for us and it's going to return a promise with all the post counts category counts and common counts okay so we're going to be doing that now so that way you can see that we can actually refactor a code and one of the reasons why I did not do that at first is because I wanted to show you the hard way of doing things and later on I'll show you the easier way okay because you need to get used to the hard way first that way you can learn more so let's start with this and it's super simple what we're gonna be doing okay we're gonna be using a method called promise all okay so let's go ahead and start this now, keep in mind that promise all is a method, okay, that, you know, returns all the promises that you put into it, and, but it's a JavaScript method, okay, this is a original JavaScript stuff, okay, with promises, has nothing to do with uh, other languages, just a JavaScript, okay, so this is nothing that, because we're using Node.js, it's something that we, uh, Node.js provides to us, it's pure JavaScript, okay, so, let's create first of all let's create some type of array to contain our promises right so let's just i'm going to create a const i like const a lot you can do a let okay declaration but i like const we're not going to change this uh particular value so it doesn't really matter so inside this array here i'm going to start and i'm going to comment this out right here because we're not going to use that anymore so I'm going to do the comment, uh, the post count, but I'm going to do execute. Okay. Now execute, remember that execute is the same, almost the same thing as then. Okay. Because execute will execute the, um, the query, but it doesn't return anything. It's expecting a promise. So it will expect a promise like this, but we're not going to give it a promise now. Okay. We're going to deal with that later. So now I want to also get the category count. So we're going to give it a promise, but later. And then I also want the common count. 
okay I want you to see how this is getting to okay so as you can see we have this array now and now if we want it let's make sure that we have all this up here though let's get the comment as well okay comment there we go anything else we have now my my idea with this is that later on we might um, get the data for the specific user who is looking at their own maybe their admin later on but I wanted to show you this feature first then later on we start adding those features uh, with this so now now that we have those promises I mean those uh, queries we can use promise at all like this okay and now we pass in all the promises right here and then we have this then this promise coming back to us okay now in here we're gonna use the of course a new syntax a fat arrow function and we're gonna pass in an array of what the data we're expecting so I'm gonna go from the top to bottom right so I want to get post count from that I also want to get the category count and I also want the comment count well, let's do lowercase comment count okay simple as that and now we come here and then we pass in that data simple as that let's come back here so we got the post count there we got the category category count is that it looks like I was I don't know if I'm spelling it right there there we go and then we got the common count right oops comment count okay and that's it that's all we got to do now the next um, the next step is to actually start implementing this data we're gonna do that in the next step uh, in the next lecture where we are going to be replacing some of that static data that we got with dynamic data okay see you in the next lecture take care guys welcome back my dear students so you guys are having a lot of fun you guys are learning a bunch of different things right so let's have some more fun let's go ahead and now that we have all this data let's see if that works okay we are right now showing a whole bunch of bars that we don't need so we're gonna have post counts uh, category counts and common counts right but now it would be nice to have active posts or public post count private post count uh, private common count or not active common counts right that's something that we want we might have to do later on I'm not going to I'm not going to deal with that right now because my main concern right now is to show you all this stuff right here okay so we might include that later on that would be nice but let's go ahead and trying to display this data right here I'm just gonna say comment count well it's Let's just say category count okay you guys can actually try to implement that with um, see if you can get it to work you know having the data specifically for that specific user having specific data for the car the logged in user that would be a nice feature to have so I got one two three four five and six I got six here I'm gonna have uh, categories here I'm gonna put this label and comments oops right here okay and I'm just gonna take this three out of here let's see how that looks I never had tried to take that out number um, CMS data let's just see if that how that shows what else we need to change here that's about it let's uh, check our data here refresh and as you can see now yeah we have a lot of uh, posts because we have 300 but keep in mind that we can also create all the charts where we can show this post data maybe like in a wheel like a circle and, this, and that way we don't have to that this data doesn't mess around with this data here okay so we can make a separate data for posts because post is a lot you can have a lot of posts and then your data is gonna look very small but I want you to look at this category says we have three categories comments it says we have three okay 
So we go to categories, it's showing three here, and they, here it's showing one. And the reason why it's showing one is because it's showing comments for this specific user. Okay, remember that in our data, if you go to comments, let me see. Well, we have, it's making me look really bad now. Okay, comment true. Let's just delete all the data and see that works, okay? Let's, I'm gonna go to my Mongo shell right now. Let's open another Mongo, UCMS, then DB that, that um, what is it, comments, that drop, enter. Oh, I put comment, it's comments. There we go. And now if I go to my dashboard and I refresh, it's still saying three comments. Well, actually, actually it's not three comments. Yeah, it is three comments. Let's go to my data right here. Here we have sits. So we have something going on here. Let's see what's going on. Comment count. Comment count, category count. Let's delete one of the categories and see how that works. Now my categories are saying two and comments is still saying is saying two. So comment and categories are look like they are linked. So that's an issue that I have here. That's because comment count. I made a mistake here somewhere. Post count, category count, comment count. Let me pause this video and I'll figure it out and come back to you. Well, we are deleting. Let's see. When we we go to comments here real quick. And then we have categories. I actually I thought I did figure it out, but I did not. So we got three there. There is no comments here. It's like it's making a query to the same. Okay, to the same place. Sometimes it works like this, guys, where you know you guys will be able to see it, and I'm not able to see this. This now it has one, both of them. So they both link. So every time I delete a category, um, it's like this data is. Oh, you know what? Oh, right here guys right here that's why yep you probably you guys probably saw that didn't you there we go all right so now we see we have zero comments okay so our data is working I was just I just made a little boo boo there and I wasn't able to figure that out as fast but I'm gonna leave this lecture here just to let you know that I'm not perfect and uh, you know errors like this happen all the time especially when you're coding for a lot of hours Okay, but you see now that our data is working, we can create a whole bunch of categories or data, and we're gonna have some type of feedback in our admin, dynamic feedback, okay? So thank you so much for watching. I'll continue adding some really cool stuff so that you guys can learn. Now the takeaway of this is that we can do all our uh, queries in one go and return just one promise with all the results. Pretty cool lecture. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next lecture, guys. Have a nice day, and take care.